welcome to my youtube channel i was planning to join um you guys have just seen the render there are the 3d view of 3d model of this lucky equi bridge design that i made using archicad as you can see i'm just going to show you guys uh, what i used to make the the drawing come to life okay so um if you look at if you look at this let's say the road for instance that's the bridge itself a lot of notice that there's no limit here that has been clicked except for the the beam tool okay and i used complex profile to draw this okay if you want to know how to use complex profile to draw this, just go to option come to complex profile click on profile manager i want to show you guys um how i was able to draw it the kind of design i use i'm going to click on this custom if you don't know how to create a complex profile you can click this new and click ok okay so you created a new profile so you can just come here to document click the line tool and come here and sketch out from this point here just come here and sketch out the kind of uh, design you want to use okay so i'm just going to click on this profile and look for the design i created that's the bridge i, I name it a the structure okay so i'm going to click on it and uh this is the this is what i used so as you can see the width is 25 2500 mm and the height here is 4822 mm as you can see this is how i did it now this is the road which the car is going to be moving on now this is the this is the this is what divides the road and this is where people are going to be working on okay now i believe there is a curve here because i was actually i just modeled it from a picture i just saw it on the picture when i went on google so i didn't go there live because i've never been there before okay now let me go to the 3d view let me show you guys this if you look at this that's this right here this one if i click on the, this is the complex profile you're gonna see this right here okay so this is it okay this curve this is the curve here okay this is where i'm gonna be working on so it's really no more it's not really hard to draw it okay so if you guys are wondering about how i was able to color different parts of the bridge that is where let me, it was also done in the on the on the complex profile if you guys notice every part of the complex profile are being clicked differently so you can add different pic, uh, different colors you can model a different uh color on each and every one of your drawings as you can see because this one goes along with this one this one is different from this one okay uh okay so that is how it is that was the way i was able to add the different surface on this bridge okay so i'm just going to cancel this for now and uh, let's go to the 3d view about the pillar uh, this pillar I used just slab, just slab two. I couldn't, uh, so I used just slab two. I'm not going to say this is 100% accurate, like the bridge is is designed 100% accurate. I'm not going to say that because I'm not the I'm not the the person that actually designed the bridge, so I don't have that. I don't have the heights. I don't know the heights. I don't know the 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 the, the length or anything. I was designing it just the way I saw it. Okay now about this i don't even think this is even that accurate like that but i decided to design something based on what i can see in the, in the picture as you can see this is also a complex profile if i, if I was going to show you this i'm going to click this and i'm going to show you i think this is it i named it beam supporting tension wire that's this okay so this is it. if i click on edit now you guys are going to see it it's just two sorry about this this isn't supposed to be there or it's supposed to be moved to this part here so as you can see the length and the height because i have to place it beside this uh bridge here okay so that is how i was able to do that and i just added this is not this is not complex profile this is just uh, a morph tool as you can see this is a morph tool I just created a morph tool. I designed it by just uh, going on the elevation and sketching something out with the 
uh, with the line tool then morphing it out if you don't know how to morph you can check some of my videos uh, you guys are going to see how to morph then i just control u you know copy make a copy of this and just spread it to the end of this other side here okay as you can see and if you guys are wondering how i was able to also curve the bridge because if you guys if you guys look at this here you guys are gonna see i was able to curve the bridge to that other side it's not really really perfect because i was having all these lines and all these lines as you can see i was having all these lines okay so i just i just have to try my best to be able to give in that look okay if you zoom in very i'm gonna say that it's not 100 percent accurate i think i can even see a little bit of something yeah i don't know so that is it okay now the structure itself okay the structure itself uh let me just zoom in there i was able to i was able to design the structure itself also using complex profile complex profile is very very powerful because it makes your work much more easier okay so i was able to design it using complex profile if you go to this again i'm going to show you the uh, the let me show you the where is it this is design i just name it a design um let me see that and let me show you guys the design so i'm going to click yeah this is it so i just did this okay this is just the design i was it was very very um how to get this curve it, once once the line is straight like this okay you, ca you can use the spline tool when you use the spline tool you can give in a kind of curve like this let me show you guys you can just give in a kind of curve but you have to be very very careful and know what you're actually trying to do because spline tool always is uh you have to be careful so you don't it doesn't curve way too much because it might just spoil the whole, the whole drawing it was, it was a little bit um taxing for me to for me to give that kind of design okay so you can just you can use you can use spline to because that's what i used for for that okay so you can just click this ctrl shift d then make a copy of this other one to give you this curve as you can see my curve is not actually perfect but you guys get what i'm trying to say uh, about this design so anytime you guys want to use a complex profile just make sure you've made all your drawings perfectly you've made all your drawings if you don't know how to do it you can watch one of my videos you can watch because i'm going to post a link in the description for you guys to watch the video you can click on the field to press space bar on your keyboard and click inside you're going to get the same color then click this thing so you can give it the kind of color by pressing override surfaces and come here come and say the kind of surface you want to you use surface or color or paint or whatever you want to use then you save and make sure you are clicking this okay so that is how to do that okay let's go to the 3d view and let me explain some other things for you guys this year this right here okay this is just the uh, the the thing that's actually holding this uh design together this structure to get uh, together so i did that separately because i was having a little bit of issue but you can still do it together with this one so if i click on it i named it a pillar wooden pillars you know just something so i'm going to click don't save for the other one so as you can see this is it okay but before i was able to get this i just but it's either you you can you can morph it or if you don't want to morph it you can decide to come to complex profile and come and do it in complex profile but you have to make sure that it actually follows the pattern you're actually looking for you can come to you can come to let me show you, you can come to this place and copy this design here okay you can copy the design here but make sure you don't copy this this paint one you can just alight alight this press the line to press ctrl a click on the spline to press ctrl a okay now press uh before i do that let me because of i need to know where this point is so i'm just going to click on that x and just drag the line here okay so we have that so now that's where that's where it is so i'm going to click on the market tool alight everything at once click on the line to press ctrl a click on the spline to press ctrl a and press ctrl c to copy it 
Now once you've done that, you can come here, click on a pillar within pillars. That's what I saved my mine as, and click don't save. Now press Ctrl V, and I like to paste, just paste. Okay, you're gonna see that it is this exact point that the the uh, archicad actually pasted this. So I'm just gonna click outside. Now you have this. So you can come here and come and draw the box using the line tool. You can make it to exceed it. You can make it to exceed outside. It doesn't really matter since it's not going to show. Okay. So that is the way I was able to do this. Okay. That was the way I was able to do all of this. Okay. Now let's go to the 3D view and let me explain some other things. This right here, as you guys would have seen it, uh, the 3D aspect, uh, the 3D modeling of the that's the video. You guys know that this is just uh, light. It doesn't really look like it, but I just have to do something like that. Okay. Now about the upper part, this was uh, I used <laughs> I used pillars. This is just pillars. Okay. They are the same thing. This two of them are the same thing. I'm just gonna click on it for you guys to know what I'm talking about. As you can see, it just I use column. I use column. They are 500 cross section height is just 500 okay so that is that then uh let me let me click this and let me select this so you guys know this is also this is just a slab tool okay this is, a, this is just a slab tool this is also a slab tool so that is that and this is also a pillar <laughs> i just designed it like uh, an antenna click on it it's also a pillar but it's actually small that's 75 okay and that is that for now uh, let me guys show you guys let me let me go down and show you guys it's actually very hard to move around because of the dimensions then this is I used I use pillars for this I use pillars let me click on it and I'm going to click on the settings dialog and I use pillars they will use be slant the slant is actually 70 degrees and the thickness is 120 so in case you want to do yours then then i clicked that was on the ground floor i don't want to go to the ground floor now because if i go to the ground floor now it's going to take a little bit of time for i to load the whole thing but i i can't you can't see it you can't see this on the ground floor okay it's going to take a lot of uh technique for you to be able to get that because this particular pillar is not actually reaching the 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 ground floor so i can't couldn't see this okay so i was able to do this then i made uh that's i used control u let me click on it let me just show you what i'm talking about when i click on this and click control u you can come here and click on this on the increment and spread you can click rotate to part then click on ok and you, 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 you do your magic okay so that is how it works or you can click on spread depending on what actually works for you okay so i'm just going to exit that so that's how that's the way i was able to do all of this then when i was done with this i grouped it then i copied it to this other side here okay i didn't use complex profile for this because it wasn't actually needed what i used was pillar okay so if, you, if I click on it, you're gonna notice that. Let me click on one. You're gonna notice that this is is a pillar sign, and click on setting dialog. The width is 300, and the angle is actually 48 slanted angle. Okay, it's 48. These ones and these ones are not actually the same thing because their angle varies uh, based on the the design I saw on the on the picture. Okay as lucky koi bridge design so this is pretty much how i was able to do it so what what i did was that about this what i did was that um after i've already done all of this part here after i've done this one two three four five six seven then i mirrored it to this other side here okay then when, then when i mirrored it to this other side i was able to copy both the one at the I was able to copy this one and this one then i mirrored i didn't copy i just mirrored this one to this side 
okay and i went to the other i think north north elevation or west elevation and i copied the one here i, I mirrored the one here to the other side here so that was the way i was able to do that okay if you guys have any troubles trying to do something like this, you guys should just let me know in the video so i can put it through how to go about it okay so this uh, this is the way i was able to do this in archicad okay and i'm going to come back come back and see again about this curve it might be giving you guys some problem the way i was able to get the curve was i used the i used a line tool let me let me show you guys i used a spline tool rather then i did i did like this okay as you guys can see i did like this to get the, to get the curve then i just stopped somewhere around that place let me change this to be black so you guys can see it vividly so it was something like this so let's say for instance i wanted to i wanted to put in like a column like this okay and i clicked this part here okay let me make it around around this around column uh, let me make it to be 200 equal okay so yes let's say as you can see the 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 the, the where the where the node is is actually centered along this curve then what you want to do is press ctrl on your keyboard then you click pick path before input and click randomize to path make sure you're selecting this and click on ok over your cursor as you can see iCAD can see that you want to select this curve because as you can see it thickens as you can see it thickens then click on it once you click on it click again then you'll be given like a distance okay so i'm just going to click that then i'm just going to stretch it like this to this side so this pillar can rotate evenly along this curved line if you go to your 3d view uh you're gonna see you're gonna see that uh you're gonna see that it actually rotates the way you want it to rotate okay so this was the same method i used for let me minimize this for this curve bridge okay your same press but i didn't i didn't do i didn't use the control I didn't use the the I just only did rotate to path. That was that was what I did. Okay, and it's gonna give you the way you, the way you want. But for the pillars, I used this when I because when I get to this when I go to this edge here, yeah, where the where the bridge started to get to be curve. When I get to this when I go to this edge here, yeah, that was what I did. Okay, so this is how to do a lucky eco bridge design or depending on maybe if you guys have a, a, a bigger project on you know, when you guys are gonna use it do a bigger project in archicad these are one of the ways you can use to do this in archicad okay thank you for watching this video okay and uh i'll see you in my next tutorial video thank you